nothing different. Even on the first day, did you ever come out here? Were you intimidated or nervous or, oh, or no? You just it just started full force. Not at all. I wasn't intimidated or nervous. Not at all. I just was ready to play football. Okay. Nothing really don't change. Is it you getting uh, hazed a little bit by these upperclassmen? Are they saying anything to you or no? You're fitting right in. I'm fitting right in. I'm fitting right in. Good, you know. Everything going good. What do you feel like has been the toughest adjustment for you so far? Okay. Um, the toughest? Learn the playbook. That's about it. Other than that, everything going good. We've heard that you've been uh, really physical. Is that, is that the nature of your game? or? Yes, that's how I play. That's just how I play. What do you feel like you have to improve most out here on the practice field? Um, I have to improve on... Um, Jamming, jamming the big boys, you know, and sticking with the quick guys, you know, getting a little bit closer to them on one-on-ones, little stuff like that, nothing major. How, uh, you know, how surprised are you that you're still first team after that, that first week of practice? I mean, are you surprised at all that, that you were able to hold on to that spot? No, I'm not surprised. Uh, oh, I came out here for the start and play. So I'm really not surprised at all. What, what kind of feedback are you getting from the coaches right now as far as what they're liking about what you're doing out here? Um, keep up the good work. Don't slack off. And how quick I, how quick I got to start a position, I can lose it. So just keep going hard. Which which receivers out here have been the toughest for you to go up against? But, um, Ken Thompson. He's he pretty good, quick guy. And um, Benjamin Hill, real fast, quick guy too. Has there been anybody in the defensive backfield that's taken leadership, whether it be vocal or just by action on the field? Uh, yes, um, the senior cornerback JoJo, you know, no, no plays. He always there to help me out and, like, you know, be hands on with me and show me the things I need to know and help out. What's the uh, overall adjustment been like going from you in high school last semester, now you're in college? How you been adjusting to school life and just a different lifestyle? Taking it one day at a time and just trying to adjust. Have you had any interceptions yet this spring? Um, no, I haven't. Any breakups or that? Uh, yes, I have breakups. I have, I have plenty of breakups. I had like six breakups so far. Coach really praised the way you, you, you worked in the Utah program. I guess, can you just talk about how you attacked that uh, off-season conditioning and what your mindset was going into that? Well, everybody was saying, oh, Utah is killing them, is killing them. And me, I took ass. Anything don't kill me, it made me better. So, you know, I ain't, to me, working out is always a mind thing. You put in your mind that you're tired, you're going to be weak, that how you going to practice. So I just figure, hey, just, you know, just go hard. I'm not tired. I got it. I just kept that in my mind. I just went hard. Thomas, I apologize if I, I missed anything. I was talking to Coach Anoffer. Just uh, how do you feel about how things have gone two weeks in uh, to practice? You're still hanging on that first team job. Um, I feel good, you know. I came here, I am came here prepared to start, you know, I told myself I'm going to be working hard every day, every day and every practice, you know, to start, so you know, it's nothing surprising to me. What has it been like going up against guys like LaRon and, you know, guys that have a lot of experience, Benjamin and those guys? Well, it's been, it been a little bit different, but me in high school, I felt that I practiced with a lot of good D1 players in high school, so it wasn't a big change to me. Just for those of us that don't know, you were gonna you were gonna go to South Carolina, Thomas. Is that right? That was your intentions. Yes. And uh, just what Coach Golden came in, how did you know what changed your mind? Um, Coach Golden, he was a good, he a great, great man. You know, most coaches, you know, they just try to get you to their program, and once you get there, you know, they change up, treat you like you ain't nothing. Ever since I met Coach Golden, he ain't changed. He he been the same person. Um, you know, everything just seems so right about Coach Golden since the day I met him. I and still right now. When the Death Chart first came out, you were the first team. Was that a surprise to you? Again, you're competing against a lot of you know, dudes that have been here uh, for you know, two or three years or whatever it was. Um, no, not really. I just know I've been practicing hard. You know, um, I've been practicing hard, going hard, and I felt like I deserved it. How do, how do you feel? Yeah, your speed? That, I, uh, you've been calm? Yes. Okay, if you need to go, go ahead. All right. Thanks, Thomas. Okay. Stop by.